Okay, let's have a good look around this. Uh, I think it's a 1986 on a C registration Land Rover 90 uh, county specification. Um, turbo diesel. Finished in uh, sort of mint greeny colour, which is the original colour. Um, it's got Colway rubber on it, I think, all round. It's not there. Yep, Colways. All four. Certainly Colway 235. 85R16s on um, white Weller wheels. Um, it's got some front spots, but I'm not sure if they're wired up. They look as if they are, but uh, I can't see a switch inside. Maybe they're wired direct to the um, main beam. Um, nice set of uh, rock sliders on the side. Um, being county spec, it's full cloth inside and all the, uh, uh, the folding rear seats in the back. Four folding rear seats. That's it specification wise. What has it got a tow bar on the back? So look. Yeah, it's got tow bar with twin electrics. Um, spare wheel. Side step for the driver. Right, let's take a closer look around it. Um, paintwork looks largely original on it, in fairness. Um, We've got a little bit of electrolytic reaction coming up here and there, uh, specifically on the front down here, underneath the, um, the light pods, both sides, usual place. Um, the bonnet lock has been ow, the bonnet lock has been drilled out at some point. Don't want to put your finger in there; that hurts. Um, <coughs> a few of the usual sort of chips and marks on on the bonnet, as you'd expect. There's a couple of black marks, I think, actually, if I scratch them, will come off. So I suspect if you scratch harder, they'll come right off. It looks like tar or something. A tar mark there, a bigger one there, and one there. Um, looking down the near side, all looks pretty straight and true down there. If this has ever seen any serious off-road use, I'd be surprised. Uh, much as it's got the um, decent wheels and the rock sliders on. I don't think it's yet seen a great deal of off-roading. Um, Nice and straight down the sides, a little bit of paint loss here and there. Bulkhead on the near side is in good shape, just starting to bubble up just here, just a couple of bubbles under the paint just there in the, um, by, the by the top hinge. A um, little bit of rust just up here by the windscreen washer, but overall the bulkhead looks to be pretty good on the near side. Screen on the near side looks fine, roof is good. Um, <clears throat> Near side door, some electrical reaction along the top there, um, as you'd expect, and it's slightly sort of uh, wavy on the bottom edge. It looks like it's been repaired at some point along the bottom. Um, Interior-wise, seats are very grubby, but they would. Uh, but it's in the nice cloth seats with the headrests. Um, they will clean up with a decent steam clean. Um, you've got the easy clean type interior. Um, with the mats and stuff like that. That's all as it should be in there. Um, door pillars look okay. All looks nice there. Carrying on round. Near side rear wing looks pretty good. Near side arch. Um, around the tail end, it's obviously had some work on the rear cross member at some point, but then again, I think you'll find they all have. A um, little bit of electrolytic reaction along the bottom of the Near side closing panel by the reversing light just here. Um, on the offside, it's okay there, that's all fine. Let's have a look in the back. Um, it's fine in here, these seats all come down. You've got these uh, sort of seat belty things, smaller seat belts. Um, all the seats are cloth in the back, except for this one, which has got a vinyl base on it for some reason. Obviously the cloth seat got damaged, I guess. Um, it's got the uh, fibre headlining in it. Carrying on round. Some electrolytic reaction just here on the back of the offside rear wing, just in the usual spot just there. Um, but apart from that, looking down the offside, once again, looks very straight and true all the way down. It's, it's got wavy panels, it's a, range, it's a Land Rover, so uh, you expect it. But... Um, a uh, little bit of reaction just above here, above the sliding side window. Driver's door, pretty good. Bit of reaction on the bottom edge. Um, and as always, the check strap has um, gone out of adjustment and damaged the, um, the offside 
the, the front edge of the um, the offside door just there and taken some paint off. Um, <clears throat> some reaction here on the base of the, the offside front wing around there. Uh, and some that hasn't broken through the paint yet, but will eventually. Uh, just around here on the front of the offside front wing panel. We've talked about the top of it. Um, bulkhead on the driver's side. Pretty good once again. Certainly bulkhead up here is fine. No problems to worry about there. There is a tiny pinhole just there, just underneath the, um, uh, the top hinge. Um, that really is about it. Uh, that's it. Um, it's got an aerial, but no radio in it. <clears throat> the um, lock escutcheon cover is missing on the driver's side. Inside on the driver's side, it's all pretty civilised. As I say, the seats are nice in this one, uh, although they could do with a clean. Um, interior is fine. Interior is just, just a nice place to be. Um, I've done uh, nearly 300 miles in this now, and it's been um, spot on. A really nice driving landy all round. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352. One point I forgot to mention, the lower steering column shroud is, uh, is missing for some reason. Uh, the bit that goes sort of covers up all the, all the gubbins under there. That's about it. As I say, my name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771-906-9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352 if you've got any issues or queries with regard to this uh, Land Rover 90 Turbo Diesel. End.